Oh hey, I'm Simone Davis, lifestyle correspondent for Wavy TV 10 and welcome to the Living Local Summer Sensation Special. For the next half hour, I'm gonna give you the rundown on everything you need to know for the summer season. I'm talking food, fashion, and of course, travel. Hampton Roads offers the best of both worlds. Whether you enjoy laying out on the beach or hiking through the woods, right now I'm gonna show you five must-see beaches and trails in the 757. Let's go. Starting with Riverwalk Landing in Yorktown. In my opinion, this is one of the best kept secrets in Hampton Roads. You can dine in at one of a kind eateries. You can enjoy free outdoor concerts, set sail on the Schooner Alliance. And of course, we can't forget about this gorgeous view of the York River. Next up, the Nolan Trail in Newport News. If you love the great outdoors, but you don't feel like traveling too far outside the city, hey, this is the place for you. The five mile trail winds through the Mariners Museum and Park. You can take a hike, run, walk. You can also sit back and relax by Mariners Lake or snap a pic by the famous Lions Bridge overlooking the James River. All right, we have made our way to the south side. Our next stop, the Chesapeake Arboretum. This 48-acre oasis, also known as Nature's Classroom, consists of two parts. On one side, you have the farmhouse and demonstration gardens. Right where we are, this is one of the most unique trail systems in the state of Virginia. It's about three miles long, and whether you want to walk, run, or take a stroll, you'll find many varieties of trees and plants. Next up, First Landing State Park in Virginia Beach. This is a 2,888-acre natural oasis that fronts the Chesapeake Bay. On one side, you have 1.25 miles of beach. On the other, 19 miles of hiking trails through protected salt marsh habitat, cypress swamp, and freshwater ponds. Last but not least, the Virginia Beach Oceanfront. I mean, this is where the action happens. You got the three-mile boardwalk, you got the sand, the blue water. As the hub for dining, entertainment, and hotels, the Oceanfront offers endless activities for the entire family to enjoy. Well, there you have it. Five must-see beaches and trails in Hampton Roads. Well, if you missed anything that I just said, all you got to do is go to wavy.com, click on that Living Local tab, and the list is right there for you. Now that outside is open, it's time to say goodbye to the sweatpants and t-shirts and hello to the floral prints and rompers. We want to put you on game to the latest fashion trends. With that said, listen in as Wavy TV 10's Aisha Tolliver sits down with a local fashion blogger, Jonna Scott Blake, to discuss what should be in your closet this summer. Hi, Jonna. How are you doing this morning? I'm good. How are you, Aisha? I am doing well. A lot has changed lately. I mean, we had a whole pandemic, so I know fashion trends have changed. Let's talk about what we're seeing with women's wear. Mom jeans, a trend that I am 100% on board with. Yes, me too. I'm wearing my favorite mom jeans today. They have a high waist and they're relaxed in the leg. And if you want to step it up a notch, you can do some distressing thing like these. I know, but everybody's not a jean person. So if you're not, no worries. Sundresses are really on trend because they're comfortable and stylish. So you could do a nice flowy sundress like this. And so the goal is to still be comfortable, but to still be stylish. I love that. And I really love the vibrant colors on that sundress. Is that also a trend that we're kind of seeing going into the summer? Yes, hot pink is the color for the summer. And you can do it in a cute top like this that has like the off the shoulder puff sleeve. Or if you just want to do an overall vibrant trend that's on as well. So you can do a nice Floyd pant. I love the vibrant print on this. And the cool thing is whether you're a man or a woman, you can do that hot pink and vibrant print trend. You can do it. You know, I do love a good hot pink or a red. So let's talk a little bit about beachwear, right? You know, we live right by the ocean front, 757. What should <laughs> people be wearing to the beach? Well, what you don't want to wear is just an oversized t-shirt. That's not going to cut it this year. Yes, we've been in a pandemic, but we're coming out. We want to look super stylish. So make sure your cover-up is actually a part of your swimsuit. You want it to look like it's a three-piece swimsuit. So make sure your cover-up is matches your, your swimsuit and something that you can wear right off the beach into a restaurant or into a store and still feel like you're put together. And I love that idea because I don't know how many times I've like gone to the beach and we're like, let's go to a bar, let's go to a restaurant, but I'm not dressed for it. So I got to go all the way back home. But right. you know, something that really completes an outfit, accessories. So talk to me about accessories, what people should be shopping for. Well, we're going to have to wear sunglasses. That's the given, right? But this year, the trend for sunglasses is the oversized sunglasses. So I love these 
their oversized and that's something that men and women can wear as well it's just all about the things that we're going to have to do this summer but taking it up a notch still being comfortable but also being stylish comfortable and stylish i love that and i am running back to my computer to put some stuff that you just mentioned in my cart thank you so much for your time this evening you're welcome Surprise! Do you like my quick wardrobe change? You know, Jonna said that pink, hot pink, was the color for the summer. So I'm taking her advice, and you see this dress has pockets too, so comfortable. Thanks for the advice, girl. Now, if you're looking for more quick tips from Jonna, head on over to wavy.com, click on that Living Local tab. All the information is there for you. Now, hang tight. The Living Local Summer Sensation Special is in full swing. When we come back, we're heading on over to Norfolk for some ballpark fun. There's nothing better than sitting in Harbor Park on a warm summer night watching a good game of baseball. You got a hot dog in one hand, maybe a cold beer in the other, or lemonade if you're underage. Now listen, if you have yet to attend a Norfolk Tides home game, let me show you why it's worthwhile. You know, it's been really, uh, really exciting to see fans coming out. Not only coming out, but you know, enjoying themselves. Just happy to have an experience with each other. You know, the first couple of weeks we had the social distancing, where we had our seating pods and everyone had to be six feet apart. But now that the restrictions have been lifted, just people coming out and you know, getting hot dogs and ice cream and you know, getting foam fingers, just enjoying. I think interacting with people again. It's really been uh, exciting to see. It's different for everybody and for some of it it's you know they like to talk about how they went to the old ballpark out by the airport and they went there with you know their parents and how they could take their kids and it's just kind of a multi-generational thing uh some of it is you know group camaraderie you know companies haven't been able to do picnics you know in a year and a half and uh you know it's good to just socialize you know after work again and some of it's the entertainment you know we we like bringing out you know celebrities or we're doing giveaways or uh you know the stuff we do on field between innings so I think everyone has their own reason. Some people like sitting outside having a beer and a hot dog. It, it's, I think it can be so many different things and so many different people that that's why it appeals to just about everybody. I, I think, you know, we've been here since, you know, well, going 60 years now, frankly. Um, so it's been an anchor in the community, you know, from the entertainment side of things, but also the community service side of things. You know, we've we rebuilt Little League fields, we've had uh, charities come out, we've had, you know, our relationship with the military. We're a member of the community that reaches beyond the sporting world. It's, you know, yeah, it's entertainment, but it's, you know, it's memories, it's volunteerism. Um, you know, it's a little bit of everything that uh, I think means a lot to a lot of people. It's a staple because it's, it's a great chance to see the stars of tomorrow. You know, guys will be playing here one day and playing in Baltimore the next day. But it's also a great place to, you know, bring your friends, bring your family, and just have a, a great time, you know. You can show up late, you can leave early, and you know, just enjoy being outside with other people and uh, you know, getting back to normal. Pretty cool, right? Well, good news, you have until September 19th to catch a game. Now, aside from baseball, you know what else I've missed during the pandemic? Live music. Now, after the break, we are heading over to Virginia Beach Oceanfront where there's a party every single night. Don't go away. Now, you know what's better than a live music concert? A free one. Am I right? Am I right? You know, anything that allows me to save my money, it's for me. Now, what if I told you there's a place where you can experience live music, circus performers, the beach, other family-friendly activities every night at no cost? Sounds like a good deal, right? Well, look no further than the Virginia Beach Oceanfront. The Live on Atlantic series offers a full array of events that will make sure your summer is one to remember. Is, is this anyone's first concert back since the pandemic? Show of hands. Welcome back. This is extremely fun and great and thrilling for us to be able to be back out here in the park and have entertainment tonight. We've been looking forward to this for the whole year. 
uh, all during the pandemic, not really knowing uh, if or when we would be able to do this again. So this is a very exciting time right now to see people coming to the Virginia Beach Resort and uh, having a great time. For this summer, we have a full slate of programming uh, every night from 7 to 11 p.m. along the street, along Atlantic Avenue. And in both parks, we have all kinds of music. Novelty entertainment with magicians, jugglers, a circus, uh, all kinds of musical acts with different genres of music, uh, all free and uh, every night from now until Labor Day weekend. So there's a lot going on in that front, plus uh, some events that we're doing uh, that are a little bit bigger, like our Chalk the Walk event, uh, where people get to come and do chalk drawings uh, right on the boardwalk. Uh, we have Funk Fest, which is a great uh, funk and R&B music festival coming up later in August. One of our new uh, series of concerts this summer is the Oceanfront Concert Series. Uh, we're actually at 17th Street Park where the band Cracker is playing tonight with uh, Jimmy's Chicken Shack. We're seeing everyone really excited uh, and grateful. We've had so many people tell, tell us thank you so much for providing this entertainment and these events. They've been looking forward to it. And for us, it's all about seeing people have fun, uh, seeing them enjoying themselves, having a great time, and creating wonderful memories that they'll take back if they're a visitor to Virginia Beach or if they're a resident, you know, they'll come back again this summer because they've had a great time. All right, don't mind me, I'm still dancing. <laughs> well, Live on Atlantic series wraps up Labor Day weekend, so you got a few weeks. Now, talking about all of these activities, it's making me hungry, you know what I mean? Well, good thing we live in the 757 where there's an abundance of restaurants waiting for you to walk through the door. Now, luckily, I have someone who's already on it, yes. Listen in or watch as 10 on your side's Kara Dixon scopes out a few local eateries around town. Hey Simone, so I used to live in Southeast Texas and one of the things that I missed most about living there was the amazing Cajun food. So I thought what better place than to come to here in Virginia Beach to Boyle Bay. So let's go inside to see all that they have to offer. So we made it inside and we are joined with Jamal Spalding. You might know him, he is a very popular food blogger here in Hampton Roads. And he's known as Yummo Bucko. <laughs> How are you doing today? I'm good. How you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks. All right. So you placed the order. What are we getting today? It's a surprise for me. We're gonna get some king crab. Those are like yes. the big ones. <laughs> um, some New Zealand mussels. Okay. And uh, I think we're gonna get some shrimp as well. You, I, I'm sure you're gonna have. You can never go wrong with seafood, I feel like. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah. And we're going to have the more Bay sauce, which is my favorite because it's a combination of their uh, garlic butter, lemon pepper, and their Cajun seasoning. So you ready for a little spice? Mm. This is like the picker that you could use to like get some of the meat out. However, if you use your shears or scissors, here's a good, here's an easy way. So you see how you got all the little prickly things on it? Yeah. You just take your king crab leg and just cut like that. And then ah. all the meat will be available and it's just a lot easier. Oh yeah. Clearly an amateur. All right, so I had a great time here today. Yes, me eating. too. Anytime I'm eating, I'm having a great time. So, <laughs> uh, but thank you, Jamel, so much for recommending this place and meeting us. I am now a full-fledged bucko buddy. Yeah, bucko buddy. <laughs> So I think I do still have a little room left for some dessert, so we're gonna head on over to Norfolk and I'll see you guys there. All right. Hey everyone, we are here at Selden Market with Cody from Bank AF. What's up guys, how's it going? How are you doing? I'm good, it's, uh, it's a good day, it's beautiful outside. Yes. It's a good day to be at Selden. Yes. Eating some treats. <laughs> some great treats. Some absolutely great treats. Big AF, 
doesn't actually stand for what? Some people no. might think it stands AF for. AF stands for allergen friendly. <laughs> uh, also almond flour. Everything we uh, make is from nuts. Okay. Uh, everything starts out as almonds, which is crazy to think about what they turn into. So. So I heard you have some treats for us today. I do. I made some new stuff for you guys. It's gonna be delicious. All right. So I'm excited. I'm gonna be full AF. <laughs> Okay, so we are ready to dig into these goodies with Jarrell. Yo. You might know him from his Instagram. Yeah. A famous food blogger. Famous. Namarama. What's the up? The one and only. It's your boy. What's going on? <laughs> How you doing, Kara? I'm doing great. I'm ready to eat. So yeah. uh, in your box, you have a uh, feta and provolone biscuit with pesto and mozzarella, kind of like a fancy grilled cheese biscuit, our West Virginia style pepperoni rolls. OK. Um, and we've got a uh, chicken Cajun sausage with uh, Old Bay butter and cheddar inside. For, uh, and then a little bit of marinara sauce in the middle of the dip. We started doing tarts, um, so it's an almond flour crust, and then it's got a peanut butter base, it's got chocolate ganache, and then it's got peanut butter on top. Kind of like a big Reese's tart. Is oh. really, that's my goal. That was my, that was my thinking. Bro, late night snacks, after dinner snacks, Baked AF, got it. We've got our Fostas cupcakes. They are uh, cream filled. They are oh chocolate tops, and then they are cream filled yet again, or cream topped again. And we've got oh, so delicious good. celebration brownies. They are gluten free, dairy free. Well, I had a great time. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, yeah, thank you. you. I'm happy now. Good. So back to you, Simone. I'm going to go take a nap because I'm full AF. <laughs> full AF, yeah. A nap? A nap? Really, Kara? Where is my to-go plate? You ain't right. You're not right. You're not right. I'm going to remember this, OK? Now, shout out to Yummo Bucko and Nomarama for keeping us up to date on the latest food trends aside from Kara. Now, if you want to know where they're headed next, just go to wavy.com, click on that Living Local tab. Now, we are almost at the end of our journey for the Living Local Summer Sensation Special. But before we go, I'm taking you on one last adventure. Buckle up, because we are about to take flight. OK, so check me out. Recently, I got to check off an activity from my bucket list. And get this, I had to go up 14,000 feet in the air to do so. That's right, I went tandem skydiving for the very first time. It was a wild experience. You don't believe me? See for yourself. All right, I can't believe that I'm here today. It's something I've always wanted to do for a long time. So we finally made it to Skydive Suffolk, and I'm here with one of the tandem instructors, David Rosas. How are you? I'm doing great. What a beautiful day for skydiving. Are you ready? I am, I am. OK, so tandem, tandem instructor. For people who don't know what that means, like myself, elaborate. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. If you've, if you've ever wanted to skydive uh, for your first time, going tandem with somebody is the absolute move to do it. Um, you can take all the hard work, all that, all that crazy fear, all that stuff, and just put it, put your trust into somebody you just met, me, <laughs> and we could take you out of a plane on your first skydive. And then, if you like it, we add more elements to it to get you certified. So walk me through the process. You know, this is my first time. Okay, I check in, sign the waiver, and then what happens after that? Yeah, sure. Uh, sign your life away on a bunch of waivers, like you're buying a home, and then uh, we do, we do a brief five-minute training. So. I'm gonna say I'm a little anxious. They said that we're about to jump in uh, 30 minutes. And at first we were going with a group, but it's just me. It's just me. So I can't even watch someone else do it. It's just gonna be me. <laughs> we put you in the harness, we go get on the plane, talk about some safety stuff, and then we go have the time of our lives. <laughs> it's, it's a really simple process. Oh my goodness. What's up, come on? Hey! Uh, what are you dressed up for? What's going on? All right, so I'm going skydiving for the first time. So for the first timers, what would you say is the most difficult part of the entire process? Yes, absolutely. Putting your trust into somebody you just met. That is the hardest thing to come by. <laughs> <laughs> Typically, um, getting the courage to jump out of a moving airplane is, is something really big. However, once you, once you get out the door, everything changes because it's always something brand new that you've never felt before. So people are scared of the fall, uh -huh. but we're moving so fast that the wind resistance becomes a tangible surface, we can actually push against it. So it rather feels like we're floating. 
We're in free fall, typically about 120 miles per hour. When we're flying the when we're flying the parachute, it's about 50 miles an hour. So it's it's, it's a rather big change. <laughs> and then once we open the parachute, about halfway through through the skydive, um, that part can feel like a roller coaster. Then we can really move around, do that weightless tank kind of thing, make it feel wild, spinning, all that kind of stuff. Landing to me is one of my favorite parts of the whole skydive. And landing can be uh, very easy. It's very, very smooth. Again, as long as you're following directions, it can be as easy as riding a bike or, or sitting down in a chair. It's very, very comfortable and easy. What do people typically say the first timers after they're done? What do you typically hear from them? Let's go again, right now. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, when we were up there, I was like, it was cool. Then we got ready to jump. I'm like, oh, we're really doing this. And the feeling, it's the free falling. That was probably my favorite part. Just looking out and, I mean, wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That was an amazing experience. Hey, nothing wrong with a little adventure. Now it's your turn. Get out, explore Hampton Roads. There's still time to make this summer a memorable one. Until next time, I'm Simone Davis. See ya.